Hey guys, thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. Welcome to another vlog. All right, let's get this vlog started. All right guys, well, it is a little windy out here and I hope that's not messing me up too bad, but I am at a place called Ferguson's Orchards. It is very beautiful out here. I haven't made it inside yet, but there are pumpkins everywhere. We're at the beginning of the orchards here. There's a lot of different parts to it, but uh, the parking lot is back that way. And here is the main building, I think. I really don't know, I've never been here. All right, so the building that I just got a shot of um, is actually a little shop. They have a bunch of different stuff in here. Sorry if I sound muffled, I have a mask on. Got a bunch of pancake mixes and scone mixes and all kinds of stuff. Bunch of apples and I'm sure they grow themselves. Toys, soup mixes. It's a pretty cool place actually. I can't believe I didn't know about this place sooner. It's actually not bad. How much are they? Forty. I didn't see a price tag anywhere. These apples look amazing. Especially these. Riverbell apples. God, those look good. <clears throat> Got a lot of cool stuff here. Oh my god, that smells amazing. Hot apple cider spice blend. It smells really good. All right, guys. Well, I made it past the uh, shop back there. Little shot of the building over here. Um, you have to pay ten dollars and fifty-five cents to get past that point. Um, they give you a little wristband. They actually have. You can get lunch over here. Did not know that. Pulled pork sandwich, pulled pork combo hot dog. Real simple stuff. A little hand washing station. Looks like they have some swans or ducks over here. Pretty much all the festivals in my area this year were canceled, so coming to something like this is kind of cool. They have a ton of animals to check out. We've got some sheep over here. Um, a mini horse back here. And we have some goats over here. Doing some grazing. This is actually the first time I've ever been to a corn maze. It's a relatively small. It is so beautiful out here. Let's go check this thing out. Now I'm about uh, 10 to 15 minutes into this maze. And I gotta tell you, it's a lot bigger than what it looked like from the beginning. Being in the corn maze kind of reminds me of the movie, um, Scary Movies to Tell in the Dark. I can't remember the name of the scarecrow in that movie. Harold. Yeah. Now, um, I don't know if I said, but there is something called a, uh, pizza farm that is just up the road from this place, and we're gonna check that out, um, before we head back to town. Okay, a little shot of the corn maze as I'm walking backwards. I bet it would be really spooky at night. Hmm. Now actually when you uh, pay the uh, $10.50, no, $10.55 yeah, admission fee, you actually get a um, season pass with that. So you don't have to pay that every single time you come. Um, but to be honest, I don't know if I would come here um, if other than to pick apples. So I said that you can pick apples at this place. It kind of reminds me of my um, grandma and grandpa's cottage from when I was a kid. They had a uh, cottage in the country and they grew um, apples, uh, blackberries I think, and a couple uh, different kinds of berries. These apples look pretty darn good, I gotta tell ya. 
I don't know if I'd pick apples, well, for more than the novelty of doing it, but me personally, I'd, I'd rather just get some of the better looking ones at the, um, uh, at the shop back there. It'd still be a lot of fun though. I think I've been apple picking before. Well, obviously my grandparents had uh, some apple trees and stuff, so. And I think the bags are like 1150. Yeah, 1150. And I'm pretty sure you can just kind of throw however much you want in there just until it's full, you know? You can get bigger bags. I don't know why you'd want to. Who goes through that many apples? This is a cool place though. Ferguson's Orchards, guys. Uh, check it out. It's in Galesville, Wisconsin. Pretty awesome place. They also have this tiny little uh, animal farm that I completely passed up. I didn't know it was here. Um, well, I saw it, but I didn't know you could go on the inside of it. We got some pigs over here. It kind of reminds me of the Interstate Fair. Um, if you watch my channel much, you will know what that is. Pretty cool. All right, guys, well, I'm at the pizza farm, and um, I've got a good look at it already, and I'll tell you, it's the kind of uh, little hidden gem that you would find out about, um, tell people about, but never tell them where it is. Um, I would hate to see this place get super popular. Well, it'd be good for the owners, but um, I'm not the owner, so I'd hate to see a place like this get super, super busy, you know, if that makes any sense. I don't want it to be super popular. I want it to be mine. All right, guys, so that is where you order your pizza. And they actually do uh, live music here from time to time. That is the uh, stage right over there. All right guys, well we ordered a cheese pizza. It's like 20 bucks. Um, they have a lot of different kinds of pizza, but we got a cheese. And I think it was a 35 minute wait. And at this point, um, we're just waiting for that. It's pretty buggy out here. And I don't think we're gonna eat here. I'll get you a shot. It looks like around here. Again. Little eating area over here. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, the pizza that we got at that place was hands down some of the best pizza I've ever had in my entire life. I'm going to go ahead and... I know that's a bold statement, but I stand by it. Give you a shot of what it looks like here. It looked a lot better when we got it initially. Um, it was very, very good. Well, uh, please take a second, like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other videos, and uh, have a great day.